free and open source graphic design software are powerful and they offer great tools and features like the paid ones. However, not all of them have the same features and they vary in their ease of use or complexity. So if you want to start doing some graphic design but still not sure what free software to use, we got you covered. Number 7. Paint.net Paint.net is a simple yet advanced graphic design software and photo editor for Windows. Yes, this software is an alternative of Paint from Windows, however, it is a super easy to use program with stunning basic and effective capabilities. For many, this software is their choice because of its friendly interface. It is extremely easy to use with all its simplistic features. The UI has tabs so you can work on multiple images at once like professional graphic design software. In addition to that, there is a range of tools in Paint.net to create beautiful images. It has editing options, selection tools, special effects, blending options and more. And it has a range of various features from basic to advanced. Besides, Paint.net has support for layers, which makes the design process and image compositing cooler and easier. Number 6. Photoscape Photoscape is a free and open source photo editing and graphic design software. It is perfect for both beginners and professionals. It has many amazing tools allowing you to create anything you want. In addition to that, it is multi-platform and it can run on Windows, Mac or Linux. It has an image editor that enables you to easily use the tools with a friendly user interface. Photoscape has many features with a toolkit of text, colors, and layer adjustments. The software allows you to draw and paint as well. It includes drawing tools such as brushes, clown stamps, and more. It also comes with filters and other effects. Number 5. Vector Vector is a free graphic design program that supports scalable graphics with high quality. It can run on Windows, Linux, Mac, and even the browser. With it, you can design stunning logos, mock-up, posters, infographics, and other things as well, whether you are a professional or a newbie. Besides, you can find many video tutorials to learn it even quicker. Another thing about Vector that makes it perfect for beginners is the fact that it offers all the basic and useful tools, and using it will allow your creativity to flow in smoothly. Vector has many design tools, making it a powerful SVG editor. These tools include fonts, shadows, filters, drawing tools, etc. It allows you to create as many layers as needed and even more, and it supports annotating graphics. One of the coolest features in Vector is collaboration and synchronization. With collaboration options, you can share your project with your team or with anybody else. While with synchronization options, your working process will be more effective and efficient because it allows others to see your design live. Number 4. Krita It is mainly a painting tool. It offers a range of cool brushes that are perfect for all artistic purposes. It supports plugins, thus you are able to add more tools for working on your design project. One of the things that made this software stand for a long time is the features of brush stabilizers. This feature is very effective for artists, allowing them to produce perfect lines, textures, and patterns. Moreover, it includes filters and effects, and you can add other stuff as well if you want to. Krita also comes with amazing color options, such as pop-up tab plus color pickle tool. It is actually an artist toolkit. It is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and overall, this program allows you to unleash your creativity due to its powerful and advanced features. Number 3. Graphic Designer Graphic Designer is another design software designed by CorelDRAW company besides CorelDRAW program. The software is perfect for multiple layers of graphics and delivers high-quality vector graphics from logos to icons and from illustrations to printed designs, and it has great capabilities in photo editing. It is suitable for beginners because its interface is very intuitive and engaging. Besides, you can adjust it to whatever layout suits you, since it is totally customizable. Graphic Designer has two versions, one free version and the other is under the name of Graphic Design Pro. The Pro version has some extra professional tools, however the free one is still powerful as a paid one. The free version allows you to easily navigate between the different tabs and to switch themes from light to dark, and vice versa. You can add multiple artboards and pages and set the canvas as you like. In addition to that, it comes with many graphic design tools such as pen, lasso, knife tool, and non-destructive booleans, and it has multiple fills and blending modes. In addition to that, it has a text engine where you can make beautiful typography.
Graphic Designer is a vector-based software available for all platforms. It runs on Windows, Mac, Linux, and even on the browser. Likewise, it supports cloud services, and its Pro version has a limited cloud storage. Number 2. Inkscape Inkscape is a powerful graphic design editor. It is based on vector graphics, which makes it a great free alternative to software such as CorelDRAW and Adobe Illustrator. This program is designed for Mac, Linux, and Windows. With it, you are able to create high-quality and scalable graphics like logos, web designs, illustrations, etc. Inkscape is very popular in graphic design industries since it is a multi-purpose program and it is very suitable for beginners. It requires no prior experience to get started using it because it has a friendly interface and tools. You can spend a short period of time to get used to the UI and the features are not complicated. Actually, the tools are relatively simple whether you are a professional or a beginner. In addition to that, it is an open source program which allows you to add your own tools if you need to. In addition to that, it has advanced features and tools making it perfect to create outstanding work. For example, it has join tools, color modes, effects, and more. You can actually add text and totally edit it with Inkscape's amazing text formatting tool. It has a range of filters created by the community behind it, and you can create your own filters as well. For many designers, what really makes Inkscape a very useful graphic design tool is the cloned objects. And with this software, you have multiple exporting options like PNG, EPS, or PDF. However, it is a graphic design software that focuses more on SVG as a lot of work is done with that format. In addition to that, it supports many features to allow users to have a great SVC integration with high editor capabilities. Number 1. GIMP This software is a free alternative to many paid design software. It is easy to use with modern and customizable interface that has the ability to allow you to do editing even in the full screen mode. With GIMP, you can design artwork, icons, logos, etc. You can do image manipulation even. You can also create GIFs and animate pictures using it. For photo manipulation, it allows you to edit and retouch images like color corrections, cloning and enhancement, and that makes it a great software. Furthermore, it uses a great feature that makes it a powerful image processing program and at the same time a light editor. The program uses a layering system where you can make a design from scratch. Moreover, GIMP has many advanced tools like painting tools, selection, mirror images, portrait stamp, masks, pencils, airbrushes, and more. It is an open source program, which means you can change stuff and add your own tools if you need to. In addition to that, it has a supportive community with a wide range of third-party free plugins. Another impact of the strong community is the availability of tutorials along with the fact that GIMP has a nice learning curve so it is suitable for beginners. It is available for Mac, Linux, and Windows. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can add it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.